What's going on, YouTube? Another update here for the Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden. And if you missed it in the last video, I was talking about how now I'm trying to do, um, well, now. It's been since November, but uh, every Tuesday I will do one of the Hot Tub Aquaponic Garden, and every win or Thursday, uh, one for this garden. And it's another Thursday update here. And, uh, yep, that's what's going on. Uh, let's see, the fish here. They've been uh, loving life here. I always put this stupid camera right in front of the fan. Um, they've been loving life in here. Uh, whenever I get done walking around, I'll throw some food and water, see if we can get them to come to the surface. They are so freaking cool. It's all catfish in here. Um, all the goldfish disappeared. And I believe I have five catfish, three big, and two that I've had since last year that are uh, halfway big. But anyway, hopefully we'll get them to come to the surface because they look just like sharks. It's been shark week. I, God, how do I even know that? Um, anyway, little apple tree experiment here. Still not looking so good. Uh, still not crunchy. It's not crunchy. It still acts like it has some life in it. Uh, so I'll hold out hope for it. Um, my peppers here looking half decent. I uh, still can't remember which one's which. I think the these two right here are my jalapenos, and these two are my green bell. But they're looking half decent. Some crappy looking leaves like this, but that's hey, what I do at this point. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? Uh, some carrots over here. See, this one right here is trying to poke out a little bit. Little tiny little guy there. Showed them off like a week or two ago. This Lauren, Loran, strawberry, whatever. Starting to produce some strawberries. <laughs> Not bad for July, eh? Um, and also, hey, look at that. If the camera would focus here. Maybe if I can get my fingers in there. No, doesn't want to focus. But there's little white dots on there. I'm not sure if that's sawdust from whenever I was uh, throwing some around in here or not. Uh, Santa Fe Grande. Look at the size of this thing, man. Gigantic. Nice and firm. I think it's ready to pick, actually. Uh, haven't picked it yet. Nice little Serrano. Um, I did pick one from right there. And the strawberries right behind it. Looking pretty decent. And actually, there we go. Got a berry going and more uh, flowers going. So how about that for July in North Carolina, where it's really freaking hot. Like 100 degrees every day. This little uh, volunteer is gigantic. It's taller than me right now. Got lots of flowers all over the place. More flowers, more flowers, more flowers, more flowers all over the place. Love this stuff. Here's the other volunteer. It is just about eye level with me, really. And it's looking really nice. And that's a Marglobe. I just threw that, threw that tag on there because that's what I was growing last year. And... Um, just threw it there. My lettuce is starting to go to flower right there, so it's going to start seeding, which I want it to do, and rain seeds all over this bed, so I get free plants. Uh, runners, I'm um, trying to let these guys go. This one doesn't even have any roots yet, but this one, a uh, little nub of a root. Why won't you focus, dang it? Um, maybe, no, but you can just see that little nub right here uh, of a root right there. Um, Another little guy right here. Got a little couple nubs. But I'm waiting for them to get some actual roots. And then I'm probably going to throw them in the new deep water culture bed right over there. As you can see, strawberries are really starting to take off. The new growth is looking really, really nice. The older growth is the same as I was saying in my hot tub video. They kind of have this rust tip. Again, I'm thinking maybe calcium and uh, um, potassium. Um, is what, you know, combined uh, kind of looks like that. I don't know, I could be wrong. I don't know much about plants. All I do is grow them and try to kill them. Um, right down here, you can see nice little uh, root mass on that guy. So it's pretty much ready to be clipped and thrown into the deep water culture bed. Maybe I can get that going by the time we're done. Because as you can see, not going. Um, right over here, got my beef steak sticking up nice and tall in the trellis design. Right next to it, same thing, San Marzano. I just love saying that. It's actually starting to flower. All right. So we're getting that guy standing up nice and tall, kind of spindly looking, but whatever. Keep growing, buddy. 
Um, got my yellow cherry. I'm loving these yellow cherries this year. Got some bunch of uh, flowers right here. And some flowers that look like they're falling apart or some shit. I don't know. Right? Some more right up in here. Um, this poor little guy right here, my chili red, is uh, just, I don't know, being overshadowed by this gigantic tail. And it looks awesome. It's right next to this other gigantic tail. And uh, <laughs> it sounds like something right out of idioc idiocracy. <laughs> Extra big ass fries. Um, but these guys are looking great. Uh, kind of overshadowing all these carrots right down here. My little other apple tree experiment. But that might be a good thing. Uh, shadowing out some of the extreme sun. Because for a cutting you really don't want a lot of sun. Uh, I don't even want to show this. Uh, pak choy. <laughs> I don't know why it's even still here. But it's looking half decent. Except for the pest. Just go right to it. And eat the crap out of it. But if it wasn't for that, it would be looking really nice. Um, another little volunteer. Oh, what the heck is this? It's not a volunteer. It is something right back here. But it's flowering. It's another tomato. And there's a bunch of more right there. Um, I think that's one of the sun cherries, actually. Um, another little one. That guy's been struggling this whole time. The dualies, they've been struggling as well. Another one right here. It's starting to flower a little bit. Uh, I think I saw some flowerage up in here somewhere, but it doesn't look like it. This one's trying to flower. Look at that. Come on, man. Why are you doing that? Come on, focus. Whatever. It's a crappy looking little flower. Um, and this guy right over here is not really doing much. Um, this pepper right over here, looking half decent. Lost a bunch of leaves on it, but it's growing up pretty big. Another little pepper right next to it, half decent. I think those are uh, both banana peppers. You can see some leaves lost down here. Look at that freaking stuff. Cantaloupe, starting to move up. Trying to climb up the trellis uh, a little bit here. <laughs> some free peppers. No, but there's a carrot right there. Better move along, it's getting late. Alrighty, what do we got right here? This would be my black creme. That's flowering. Hey, hey. yeah. Radicchio back there looking like a ball of crap. Um, right over here, this is my giant Marconi. I harvested the uh, other one last week. This one's starting to turn. So we're getting ready to uh, get that guy here shortly. I don't see any replacements starting to pop off there, but just so you can see, that was the uh, stem that I cut off right here. Giant freaking thing. Um, another one, I think this is another volunteer. Yeah, all, all of these were volunteers right here. These two guys right there and everything. Uh, kale right behind it. Nice. Not too bad. Uh, kind of nice. Look at that. All kind of stuff there. Uh, Mexi Bell right here. We've got one, two. Uh, right beside it. We've got my uh, another cow horn right over here. Looking half decent. Uh, I believe that's a jalapeno. Not looking good. Another little jalapeno, not looking good. My bell pepper right over here. Eh. Another pepper looking like crap. Um, right back here is my garden salsa. Got one half decent looking pepper, one trying. And right behind that, I've got this, which is a mammoth jalapeno, which has one little tiny pepper starting on there. Malabar, the one's looking eh, and the other one's looking okay. Eh. Let me see, and that free caught pepper looks like crap, and it is now gone. All right, we'll replace that with one of the ones I'm growing. Uh, right over here, watermelon, looking half decent. Cantaloupe starting to fall right off. This pineapple sage is looking really, uh, well, yeah, pretty good. But its buddy, where I took it from, is just pretty much all dying off. So I'm going to have to remove that. A couple more of my little tomatoes, looking half decent. One of my quinault strawberries, looking good jalapeno or no these are my sweet bananas ah uh, they kind of stunted not really doing much um right over here my cajun bell my mexi bell not really rooting or anything i threw some broccoli seeds from my second year broccoli over there that i missed uh which is that big amount of uh green right there I threw some seeds right into this cup. Let's see if they do anything. Uh, another cantaloupe. Looking half decent right here. Starting to fall off the side there. Got a little flowerage going. Looking beautiful. Loran. Look at this. More strawberries in July. Flowerage going all over the place. I love these guys. These are great. Um, 
the board's still soaked, I know. Um, and to make matters worse, I think I'm just gonna go ahead, hook this thing up, and use regular old plywood as a cover, and uh, start drilling on there, just to complicate things, man. That's what I gotta do, man. That's what I do. Uh, jalapenos here, half decent, half decent, looking like crap, but that was the one that had all that, like, uh, pest damage last week. All those leaves fell off, so I'm hoping it'll come back, maybe, maybe. Uh, another mammoth jalapeno. Mammoth? Yes, that's what it says. Mammoth jalapeno there. Um, like I said, uh, these strawberries are looking so nice. I can't believe these guys are actually, like, kicking ours right here in July. Um, to, to, to just full of random crab cutters and some more cut, uh, cups and stuff like that. Like I said, probably going to make this thing work just so I can start doing little weird experiments like I did with the seeds in there and, you know, stuff like that. What the heck? All right, so now it's the towards the end of the video right here. Let me just go ahead and drop some food in here. See if we can get any of these uh, catfish to just come on up to the surface. I'm betting that we probably will not because they hate the camera. But uh, you never know. We might be able to get a little bit of footage. Okay, got one in that, that uh, pipe right there. You just barely see his head sticking out on this side and his tail sticking out on that side. Uh, I do not see any other catfish in there. He's moving around, though. I can see that tail going nuts there. But, uh, they're very cool whenever they come out. They swim around just like a little tiny mini shark. Alright, look, he's out of a container, kind of. But he's not coming after the food. Alright, what a great ending. And we've got some more water action going, so it'll make it harder to see. And he's still just hanging out in that container. Alright. Well, that was a lot of fun. Maybe I should just go ahead and try filming, uh, feeding these guys so that I can actually have some footage of this. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Um, so that was the catfish in there not cooperating again. Um, I'm sure as soon as I turn this camera off, it's gonna go ahead and just jumping out of the water and grabbing food. But, Whatever. It's getting late. I gotta get out of here. I got more work. And if I'm gonna hook this thing up today, I need to get on it right now. So, like I said, everything's looking beautiful. Standing up nice and tall. So, that's all I got growing on this week. So, I'm out of here. Till next time. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, all that fun, happy media stuff down below. And I will catch you next week next Thursday. Later.